film the tutorial on this look, which is using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette for the eyes. And yeah, it's just kind of like a brown, little smoky, quite wearable everyday look with pinky nude lips. And if you want to see how I got this look, then keep watching. I've already moisturized my face. I'm going to be using this little baby professional that I got as part of a gift set. I put it on my nose, my cheeks and forehead. Just places where I want the foundation to apply a bit more evenly. Now that we've got our primer on, we are going to go in with our foundation. So right now I've been using NARS Shea Glow in Syracuse. And then just apply it onto my face. Yeah, so the reason why I really like that foundation is because it's fragrance free and it's non comma comedogenic. I don't know, I think it just means that it doesn't irritate your skin. I didn't even mention what I was using. This is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Clean Super Stay Better Skin in Medium. Just just some extra blending just to make sure that it is fully blended. I don't want to look back at this video and be like, oh, dang girl, you missed the spot. Which will most likely happen, it's very real. Right now I've been using the Stay Don't Stray Primer by Benefit in light medium. We're just gonna blend it out with our finger. Since our eyes have been primed, we are going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm so excited. And it really does smell like hot chocolate or some sort of chocolate. It's, really, it's definitely worth a sniff. We are going to go in with a BH Cosmetics, um, I have a name, it just says BH Cosmetics, but I would say it's like a fluffy crease brush. This one, which is Salted Caramel. So we're just going to chuck that in our crease. It's just a starting shade. Okay, so that seems like an adequate amount. I want to darken it up a little bit, so we're going to go in with um, this one here, which is Semi Sweet, I believe. With the same brush. We're not going to use anything else right now. And just kind of apply that underneath the, what shade was that? The Salted Caramel shade. So, just over here. And we're just going to apply it in this from halfway to our lid to the end. We're not going to bring it in right at all actually. We're going to apply a different shade closer to the inner half of our eye. Blending I feel like is the key to any eye look and the part where you spend most of your time is just blending so everything looks quite seamless and not patchy. Okay, we're going to use this shade here, which is, I think this is hazelnut, yeah, it's hazelnut, it's so pretty. I'm going to apply that, oh, didn't even tell you what um, brush I'm using, did I? I'm using a Zoeva 234, yeah, 234 Lux Smoky Shader Brush. This we're going to apply all over the inner half, like from here up till here. It's two thirds of my eye actually, because I've kind of added it towards the end as well. Then we're going to go in with our... 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush by Zoeva. And we're going to be using this shade here, 
which is the white chocolate. Ooh, Inception, you see me. Yeah, maybe I should just do this. This shade here, which is white chocolate. And we're going to apply that to a brow bone. And then we're also going to add that to our inner little corner of our eye. Be like, let's make it a little bit more dark, shall we? Because I just like this palette. So then I'm going to use this shade here, which is, I think it's Cherry Cordial. Yeah. The reason why I say I think, I think, is because, um, yeah, they don't have their names on here or on the back. So on the actual box when I bought this, I had a little, well, this was part of the box in the packaging where it says all the names of all the eyeshadows. So I cut that out and I kept it. So when I'm doing tutorials with this palette, I'll know what each thing is called. Oh yeah, so wait, this brush is called the 224 Lux Defined Crease. The little hairs are kind of weird because they got stuck with something. So we're going on with Cherry Cordial and we're just going to chuck that in the crease as well. I'm going to go back to my BH Cosmetics crease brush and just give it a final blend. I didn't put any more product on here, it's just whatever we had before. Just to make sure everything's nice and blended. We're going to be using the Real Techniques brow brush to add some colour into our lower lash line. We're going to be using that same Cherry Cordial shade, which is... This one right here. I don't really know how I feel about this shade. So we're going to go into something darker. We're going to use Triple Fudge. Oh, kind of see, which is this one here. Just to kind of make it a little bit smoky. And because I'm not going to be wearing any eyeliner on my lower lash line is just to balance out all the dark eyeshadow that we've put on the top lid. The eyeliner I've been using, well I'm going to be using today is Schwing by The Balm. No, we had it and then bam, we lost it. Guess we're just gonna have to make it a little bit thicker. Like this always happens. You go in and I'm like, yeah, yeah, just, just a thin little wing and then or a thin little line. And then somewhere between my hand and the eyeliner just goes way thicker than what I intended. That'll do. We're good, we're gonna put the eyeliner down and move on. Next, I would curl my lashes. So the eyelash curl I'm using is just one from Kmart. Just hold it for like 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds. And yeah, that's one done. I think that's good. Right now I've been using the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Hydrofuge. Um, and it's in the waterproof formula. Well, the brow kit that I've been using for at least a year and a half, maybe? It's been a while. Is the Sleek Brow Kit in Extra Dark. Comes with like a gel side and a brown eyeshadow, which I don't use at all. So all I do is I usually just kind of 
um, just add it a bit over here on top, especially if I haven't gotten my eyebrows threaded in a while. I mean, I'm all about clean lines of my brows, like I like it looking clean over here, clean at the top, which is why I like getting them threaded. I'm going with a brow gel as well to so just kind of hold them in place. I've been using the Maybelline Brow Drama in dark brown. I'll just kind of brush through my brows a little bit. But yeah, that's the brows done. Now let's go back to our face. Um, just the next matte bronzer for face and body and it's in medium. Just an Eco Tools brush. Been using the Smashbox blush in Idolize Me. This I don't know, it's quite old. It was my sister gave it to me. Um, seen better days. The brush that I've been using for blush is the Zoeva One Two Seven Lux Sheer Cheek Brush. Let's set our makeup first before we do a lips, shall we? The Real Techniques contour brush. Is that my hair? And I've been using the Face of Australia translucent loose powder. Okay, so I just use that to set my under eye area. We're going to use Sora Lip Liner by MAC just to line our lips. I saw we're making like a cross, a cross on a key foods bar. Like I'm going to go in with Max Twig. And that kind of shade. I don't know, it's a satin. Look at the satin finish. Okay, so I think that's pretty much them. That is the finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed my video and leave a comment below of any future videos that you want to see. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Thank you.